Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Robot malaria, the prevalence of malaria in Ilefe over a period of two years by OG Victoria. The summary, robot malaria, the prevalence of malaria in Ilefe over a period of two years. About 40% of the world's population live in tropical and subtropical regions where patients with malaria present in the clinic with fever, headache, and vomiting in daily clinic presentations. The use of triage by nurses has been an added advantage in sorting out the patients in the clinic. Triage has been known for prompt nursing and medical interventions in patient care, thus reducing the waiting period for clients in the clinic. Reducing malaria mortality and morbidity depends on availability of drugs and diagnostic tools. Control of malaria includes, apart from the basics, tracking of human illness, parasite surveillance, and effective resource delivery. The problems. Many residents of Ileife are not aware of the risk associated with malaria. Malaria remains one of the commonest diseases in tropical regions with high morbidity and mortality rates. Rapid, diagnose, rapid diagnostic test kits, if made readily available, could reduce the mortality rate of malaria. The concept of health education motivates people to adopt health practices for a healthy lifestyle, advocate environmental changes needed to facilitate this goal, and conduct professional training and research towards the same end. Through community practice, Hundreds of people benefited through the program. The method, health education of the community through market sensitization program. Public lecture and a radio phoning program on malaria eradication. Then screening of people with malaria symptoms using the rapid diagnostic test RDT kit. The results and discussions now. Descriptive statistics are numbers which are used to summarize and describe data. They do not generalize beyond the data at hand. The hypothesis, there was no association between demogra demographic characteristics and utilization of malaria drugs in 2012. About 160 adults and children who tested positive were treated with malaria drugs. There was no association between age and utilization of RDT kits or microscope for testing amongst the people with a total of 1,000 people in 2013, out of which 98 were children. 28.6% of the children tested positive using RDT kits, while 27.6% using micros microscope technique tested positive for malaria parasites. The sensitivity of the RDT kit was 92.6%, while specificity of the microscope was 95.8%. The p-value was less than 0 0.001. The collection of data from the children was for publication purposes on benefit of RDT kit for use in primary health care to diagnose and treat malaria promptly in villages. Give ACT drugs and insecticide treated nets for malaria and ensure compliance, do follow up visits to sustain the gains. The references, Bruce AT 2014, that's evidence-based practice and social work, Journal of Evidence-Based Social Work. In Foundations of Nursing 2006 from the Open University of Nigeria, then OHSC Newsletter and News Bulletin. Thank you. The conclusion, provision of more resources, diagnostic test, test strips and drugs to carry out larger prevention program. Then do follow up visit should be encouraged to monitor the progress of eradication of malaria. 
emphasis also should be placed on data collection by nurses. Then focused role of nurses in provision of health services would give them the unique insight into practical issues around research. Thank you.